Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and it's time for Ask a Herbert Erpaderp. We are already a month into 2024. Uh, how did that happen? Anyway, let's see what Question Bot has to say. Vimmy Vimmy Wham Wham Wazzle. Okay, let's see if Question Bot has any questions. Herchin said, Do you have other friends from your childhood who still make models? I don't really have any friends from childhood, I guess unless you consider late high school to be childhood, in which case I suppose I do. None of them are into models though. Most of my friends from any point in life aren't especially into models, which is kind of lame on their part, but it's fine. Trekan Belovich said, Got an A7V in your stash. If not, any plans to purchase one? I don't currently have an A7V in my stash. I would like one though. I was thinking about that the other day when I was playing that Tank Tycoon game. I haven't seen one pop up lately when I've been suckered into looking at sales at hobby shops, and as you know, I am trying to avoid spending too much money on new kits before reducing my existing stash, but maybe I will try to find one. Surely it's about time I did another World War 1 model, though I do have a Whippet in my stash that would probably be pretty fun too. Hmm. Martin Gotham said, What happened to the UMBT7? Nothing really happened to the UMBT7. It's sitting on the shelf near my fish tank, and it has a lot of dust on it. Moosey said, What's your favourite Star Wars movie? I don't really have a favourite. I would try to pick one from the original trilogy, but it's too difficult, so I'll just say the entire trilogy, and we'll just count that as a single movie. I haven't seen most of the newer Star Wars movies, or any of the series that are out. It feels like every time I do try to watch a Star Wars, I see that I would have to pay extra on Prime, and then I lose interest before finding other ways to watch it. Trekan Belovich said, Is there something local the Brisbarians are proud of? A place, a thing, a behaviour, a saying, someone from the past? Brisbarians. I'm not sure Brisbarian is really the correct term, but I do like it, so I'm going to use that from now on. You know what? I'm not sure. There's got to be plenty of stuff that people from Brisbane care about or are proud of, but I just can't think of anything that really stands out. Maybe a sports team? I don't know anything about sports. Maybe that video with the guy getting arrested after having a succulent Chinese meal? Get your hands off my penis! Maybe that video is Brisbane's proudest thing. I certainly think it's one of our best contributions to the world. Panzer4 said, Have you been to see the A7V? I have seen the A7V, but not since I was quite young, and I don't actually remember it. I really should go though, it would be something interesting to do, and I could make a video about it. Now that the school holidays are certainly over, going into the city and the museum would probably not be so bad. Maybe I'll do that. And now, let's check the YouTube comments. Martin's Train Adventures said, What kit are you executed to build this year, and will we see some more painting videos? I would really prefer not to be executed, question bot. I'm sure the word was meant to be excited. I'm pretty excited to get to the Tack on Burger Panther, however you say that, which I picked up recently. I'll be doing a What's in the Box video about it soon. I'm also excited about the Vespid Tiger, which I've just started, though now I am slightly concerned that the running gear isn't going to be the best. I guess we'll see. There will be more painting videos, but they're going to be done when they're done. It's really not worth ruining my enjoyment of painting to try and get videos done quickly or to any kind of schedule. I finally learned my lesson with the zombie painting video I did last year. I worked extra hard to get that done for Halloween, but it still doesn't even have 500 views, which is probably my fault for not painting better or making a better video to please the algorithm or whatever, but it's still kind of discouraging, so why ruin my hobby for that? I do really like painting, I just don't want to spend all of my waking hours doing it. It's not fun for me to spend long hours trying to finish a painting project, at the expense of other things, and then spend even more hours editing the video to get it done by a certain time, or because otherwise there'll be no video at all. Especially because the views they get are so low. There's literally no benefit for me to push to get painting videos done, so I might as well paint at my leisure and enjoy it. The end of last year was really busy for me, so I didn't have much time to paint, but there will be more painting coming soon. Okay, that's it for the questions, let's have a look at some of the modelling work that's been shared on Discord in January. Peter Enko shared this rather awesome looking diorama featuring a Ukrainian T-90M firing its gun. That's a really impressively done blast effect. 
Peter Enko made a video about this diorama and you should go check it out, there's a link in the description. Not only is the diorama really cool, but the tank itself is nicely done too. I guess the tank and diorama are considered separate things, why not? This is a 70 second scale kit from Zvezda, for those interested. That's some really good work, keep it up. Road Warrior John, who has a really fitting name, shared this awesome post-apocalyptic car. I really love this kind of thing, and it's getting me excited to start on my next similar project, though it is probably going to be a bit less imposing and fierce looking than this car, which is based on a Ravel 69 nice Pontiac GTO Judge 2-in-1 kit. Very very cool. I quite like the welding effect you've done around those panels. Good stuff. Tom Stuff shared this Hetzer, which looks like it's very ready and eager to Hetz, as Hetzers do. This is really well done, which you can obviously see. This is the Vespid Hetzer in 70 second scale. At this point I've seen a few of these painted up, this one exceptionally well, and it looks like a really good model. Still doesn't seem to be available in Australian stores though, which is kind of annoying. That's not what this is about though. Amazing work. Trekan Belovich painted a Lloyd carrier, which is perfect for carrying groups of people named Lloyd. This looks great, as Trekan's painting does. I really like Lloyd carriers, I think they look interesting. They probably weren't, but they look kind of fun to ride in. This model is in 15mm scale from the Plastic Soldier Company. Glorious and mighty. And that's it for the models this month. It's time for Herbert to go to sleep. Thank you to everybody who asks questions and shares their modelling work over on Discord. There is far too much to share here, so go and have a look yourself. Maybe you'll get as much inspiration from it as I do. There's a link in the description. An extra thank you to patrons and coffee supporters. I appreciate you all. As always, questions for the next Ask a Herbert Herbert Up can go in the comments below, or more typically, over on Discord. Subscribe if you want to see more, support on Patreon or Coffee if you want and are able, and why not check out some of the links in the description. Take care of yourselves, be excellent to each other, and thank you for watching. Farewell.